Assalamu alaikum dear students. I hope you all are fine. This video has been made to start learning the topics include in class 6 science. So we start from chapter number 3 that is time, rate and speed. In this unit we will discuss about time, its unit and the instruments used to measure it. Before starting we should know what is the need or importance of time. The answer is we need time to describe any sort of movement or working accurately. For example, I say Ali likes to read storybooks and he reads very fast. But how much fast he reads storybooks? How much time he take to complete a storybook? The answer is he take 15 minutes to complete the storybook. So to describe his movement, his working, I need the term time. Similarly, if I give an example of a race, in a race, different players run. And we say player A runs fast while player B runs slow. But how much fast and how much slow they run? For this, we need the term time so that we can describe their movement accurately. This shows that time is necessary for describing any sort of movement or working accurately. Now the next question is what is the unit of time and how can we measure it? The answer is very simple with the help of watch and clock. But before the invention of watch and clock, how do people keep their time? The answer is in early ages, people use the movement of sun, star and moon to keep the time. But after the invention of clocks and watches, it is very easy to keep the time accurately. There are different units of time in which we can measure it. For example, minute, hour, days, week, years, centuries. There are different units, but the standard international unit is second, means the unit that is used internationally for measuring the time is second. The SI unit, standard international unit of time is second. And similarly, there are different instruments that we can use to measure it but here we discuss about the three instruments that are the stop clock, the mechanical stopwatch, and the electronic stopwatch. So we start from the stop clock. In a stop clock, you can see there are 60 divisions and each division indicate one second. And you can see there are three hands. The blue hand shows the hour hand. The red hand shows the minute hand. And the largest one that is also red that shows second hand means one hand indicates R, the other is for minute and the third one is for second. The next is mechanical stopwatch. In mechanical stopwatch you can see there are two scales. One is minute scale and the other one is for second scale. The smaller circle you can see here in the picture indicates the minute scale that is used for minute while the larger circle is for second scale. We can use these two watches for measuring the small interval of time and their accuracy is 1 second and 0.1 second respectively. The stop clock used to measure the time for one second level and the mechanical stopwatch is used to measure the time at 0.1 second. The third one is electronic stopwatch. It displays digital, it has digital display of time and its accuracy is 0.01 second. It gives hours, minute and second. It gives the time to 
point zero one second accuracy. Means it gives the time with higher accuracy. Figure will help you to understand to read the time with these watches. And if you summarize this topic, you can read the key points. Number one, clocks and watches are used commonly for measuring the time. And the standard international unit for time is second. Short intervals are measured by using stop clocks or stop watches. And the stop clock measures the time accurate to one second, while mechanical stop watch measures to 0.1 second, and the electronic stop watch measures to 0.01 second. I hope this topic will be clear to you. But if you have any confusion or any question, you can ask. Your homework is. Try to solve the exercises given on page number 35 and 36 of your book. Thank you.